Hello, rugby fans, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today I have a tutorial video for you guys. For anyone who has Rugby 22 on the PC, we'll be modding the game to get all the correct teams, kits, players, things like that. So if you are looking forward to this video, please do drop a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions on this mod tutorial and if you get stuck on anything at all, leave it down in the comments and I'll get back to you. And if you haven't already and you want to stay up to date with the channel, then please do move that subscribe button. So first things first on the tutorial for modding Rugby 22, we need to head over to the ever reliable rugby forum. You can find it up here. Obviously it's the rugbyforum.com forward slash forums. Um, you want to head over to other stuff which incorporates all the rugby video game stuff. Of course, if you've seen my mod tutorials before, particularly on rugby 08, this is the place to come with a lot of fantastic creators and a really, really good community to get involved with the rugby video game side of things. But we'll be scrolling down on the rugby video games and apps section to the bottom bit here where we have got Rugby 22 and the one in particular is the Rugby 22 mods. We'll go straight to page five and there were some incredible people working on some mods in this thread, but we never really got a full patch for the whole lot. Um, and if you scroll down here, you'll see that there was a French creator who created an all-in-one mod for Rugby 22. Um, you can find his video here on YouTube. So if I just load it up on YouTube, we can then show you who it is. And it is Alex Gaming over here with 18.9k subscribers. Um, I don't cannot pretend to know anything about French so there's some information there but the main thing you want is this link here to a media file download you click on that and you download the file it will be compressed and you will then find that in your downloads section once it is complete um, I believe I have got it deleted unfortunately so it's not quite here but it'll be in your downloads you just need to unzip it and then what you'll do is you'll head to this PC your Windows your program files and as always with the Steam games you head down to Steam Steam apps common and then find the game which obviously is Rugby 22 and when you download the mod file, you will have a data folder. And basically you just drag it in here so that it, it replaces everything in your current uh, data file. So you'll drag it from your downloads into here. It will ask you if you want to replace the files. You click yes. You wait for that to import into this folder, which will take a few minutes. And then once it's done, it's as simple as that. That is it. Now, unfortunately, with this mod, if we go back to the thread, um, the kits are not 100% up to date. Unfortunately, it's not going to show us the thumbnail anymore, is it? Um, but we have got it in the background here. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, the kits are not up to date. The England kit, the international kits, the Premiership kits, they're not up to date. But it's better than nothing. The base Rugby 22 game is completely messed around and it looks terrible. So at least it gives you the correct players and the correct kits. Um, so yeah, it's as simple as that. You go onto the Rugby Forum. Um, you come over to here. You click the Media File link. You then download. And then once you've downloaded it, you just drag, you extract, and then you just drag the data file to your program files here under program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, drag it into here, replace your data, and it's simple as that. I will now load up Rugby 22 and show you what this mod has to offer. So here we are, guys. We're in Rugby 22 now on the main menu, and I'm just going to fire into quick match to show you guys what I mean. So I mean... We've got the Premiership, the URC, Pro D2, we've got the World Cup, we've got the Top 14, 
everything is now officially named. If we start off with the internationals, we'll start off at the top. We've now got them all modded into the game. England, for example, there. Unfortunately, like I said, the kits are not 100% up to date and accurate, which is unfortunate, but it's better than nothing. And you can see all of the international teams now have got their kits and they're looking very, very nice, including the spring box. And there we go. And there's, of course, if we go across, here is the Gallagher Premiership. We'll start at the top with Bath. The Bristol Bears, and as you can see, this kit is a few years old, but at least it's something. They've got the correct logos, Exeter, Newcastle, Gloucester, Harlequins, London Irish, Saints, Sale Sharks, Saracens, Leicester Tigers, the now defunct Wasps and Worcester. And if we go to the teams as well, go down, you can see they've all got home and away kits, which is nice. And yeah, it just makes your game a bit more complete. And yeah, it's just better having the real names, the real logos, the real kits, things like that. Hopefully at some point, maybe someone will mod in the correct up-to-date kits. Um, but at least it's something, like I said, the base game was pretty terrible, pretty much bog standard, horrible stuff. At least this gives a bit more immersion. Unfortunately, this is not available on consoles it is only PC and I've now showed you how to do that and hopefully that improves your rugby 22 experience so there we go guys I hope this has helped some of you to improve your rugby 22 game if you've enjoyed this tutorial and it has helped you out please do drop a like leave a comment down below like I said if you've got any questions pop it down there and I will get back to you to see if I can help and if you want to see more things like that, more tutorials, more help videos, stay up to date with the channel by mauling that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the virtual scrum.